and you got to look at a new space. I did. Myself. It's not even open yet. It's uh, coming with a, a new menu, that new space, and whimsical new cocktails that are all designed to change a misconception while serving hotel guests, theater goers, and neighbors in need of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can't afford to walk in there if I'm in jeans and a t-shirt, and that's what we want to change. The new, more casual design of Mercy is still very much under construction. But the concept has been built in the minds of its new co-owners for years. Mike Rakin, the executive chef of Marin, which had been in this space since 2013, has teamed up with his old partner, Scott Gardner. They first met at the seafood restaurant True Lux in Naples, Florida. Maybe you've even been while on vacation. We have 17 years experience with all sorts of crabs, oysters, and fresh seafood, and we wanted to bring that experience here. Bringing in six or seven different oysters every day, probably three or four different crabs a week. Crab fried rice? Crab fried rice. I've never yes. heard of that. Is that, a, uh, is that a Mike specialty? That is a Mike specialty. He's had that recipe for a while. A hunter as well as a fisherman, Chef Rakin's menu will also feature plenty of land-based fare. The cocktail menu is full of innovative and cheeky cocktails from the mind of Keith Werner, who joins Mercy from the trend-setting bar, Eat Street Social. What are you going for on, on the cocktail menu? I'm trying to keep it seasonal, so we're always going to change it up, and this is just a beautiful representation of spring. So what is this? This looks like ice cream. That's a, a cherry cream soda and cherry syrup with natural cherries cream and a little bit of cherry bark vanilla bitters and it goes a long way. So non-alcoholic, great option. Yes. This one looks crazy. What is this? That's my over the top uh, uh, Collins style cocktail with tequila, uh, lemongrass and strawberry syrup. It's really, it's a Collins style cocktail that kind of turns into a beer shandy that kind of just turns into a beer with lime juice eventually once it dilutes. If you will, like a three dimensional drink in that way where it just continues to change and evolve as you drink it. And then this is the one that we're actually going to make today. Yes. It's based on a very classic Brazilian drink. Yes, uh, caipirinha. The official drink of Brazil, the caipirinha, is made from the Brazilian rum called cachaça. So it's a little like a mojito. But cachaça is also earthier than Puerto Rican rum, so in that way, the drink's also a little like a margarita. This version uses a Nordic gin called Aquavi, distilled in Wisconsin and infused with dill. That's it. It's three ingredients. Yeah, that's the best part. The Aquavi, simple syrup, and half a lime are muddled together in a shaker. We'll do this one shaken down pretty much to nothing. Cheers. Cheers. Dill caipirinha. Yes. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's so light and summery, and um, it's not as astringent as a typical caipirinha. It's a little more balanced. More than anything, thank you for the tutorial on how to say caipirinha. If you, if you can't say it, that's all right. The people <laughs> will know what you're saying when you order it. But um, people, maybe you're thinking when you hear dill, like mm -hmm. pickle juice. No, yeah. it's, it's a, a mild dill flavor. Uh, Mercy opens in their redesigned space on April 1st, but they are taking reservations now. You can't order those cocktails, obviously, until then, but I did post a recipe for the dill caipirinha at wcco.com slash Mike's Mix.